Marion. Here is the TV ad called Julie's Story. My name is Julie Boonstra, and five years ago, I was diagnosed with leukemia. Shut her up. I found out that I only have a 20% chance of surviving. Don't give her a voice. I found this wonderful doctor. Shut her off. A great health care plan. We're liberal. <laughs> I was doing fairly well. Case fighting for killing the granny. Hey. Fighting the leukemia. And then I received the letter. My insurance was canceled because of Obamacare. Now, the out-of-pocket costs are so high, it's unaffordable. If I do not receive my medication, I will die. I believed the president. I believed I could keep my health insurance plan. I feel lied to. It's heartbreaking for me. Congressman Peters, your decision to vote for Obamacare jeopardized my health. It is time to listen to me. It is time to listen to the other American citizens out there. And, and it's on record all of this is happening. All right, the rest of the ads up on Infowars.com. And his answer is, shut it off. I'm going to get your license pulled. Hey, why don't you move to China, punk? Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
bottom line iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Who else has got Hank Hill and Beavis bringing them in live with the actual voice doing it? You know what? I get high, I get high on freedom. A free country is the drug for me. Kickstart America's heart. Rediscover li liberty. Get past all the terms of liberal conservative. Recognize tyranny when you see it. Speak out against it. But also live liberty as an example. That's how we're going to get our society back. Here's to liberty. Top fuel funny card. The drug for me. How about 173? <laughs> I don't drive like that anymore. I drive the speed limit. All right, we are back live, but on the air. Oh, I drive 170. Thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday edition. You know what? We didn't play all the ad, and because this uh, state rep is threatening to, uh, actually, U.S. rep is threatening to pull uh, an FCC license as if he could even do that. And now you've got the FCC saying they want to come in and manage news inside even print media. Talk about a power grab, even with the FCC chairman coming out saying it's a bad idea. So they're backing off of it for now. They did this uh, last year as well. We're going to play this again just because he doesn't like it. While Julie uh, Boonstra, Dexter, Michigan, struggles to survive leukemia, she now has to cope with being called a liar by the Democrat who wants to be her next senator. And the campaign of Representative Gary Peters is also going after television stations airing ads in which her story is featured, threatening their licenses. That's right. The examiner goes on to report the ad by Americans for Prosperity features the uh, woman battling leukemia talking about how her insurance was canceled under Obamacare and saying Peter's decision to vote for the law jeopardized my health. No kidding. They admit it's kicking people off. The ads are airing in Michigan as Peters seeks the Democratic nomination to replace Senator Carl Levin, Democrat of Michigan. So he wants to go from the House to the Senate, who is not uh, seeking re-election. Media organizations investigating the ads claim note that uh, she was able to find comparable new insurance under the law. The Washington Post fact checker blog gave the ad a two Pinocchios uh, for Obama. Really, she didn't get the doctor she wanted, the treatment she wanted, what a bunch of bull. The point is, you, they said you wouldn't lose your doctor. And the bill said you would in many cases. They were liars. People just keep defending this Obamacare, man. Admit you're wrong. But in response, told the local Dexter local leader newspaper that though she has no idea whether she will break even with a new plan, a fact checker claims the uncertainty of having to restructure her health care while coping with a deadly disease is damaging enough. Yeah, choose your own doctor. That's fundamental. People are asking me for the numbers, and I don't know those answers. That's the heartbreak of it all. And meanwhile, it's reported that he is threatening to have their FCC license pulled, which is what we see going on with all this attempt to have the FCC come in and start managing political statements and things. And we saw the Obama truth squads during the first election seven years ago saying, if you run a misleading ad, the Missouri police will arrest you. They will decide if it's misleading. In other words, if you say Obama wants to raise taxes, this is a quote. Guys, will you pull up on YouTube? Or we, we may even have it, Obama truth squads. Because I'm not kidding, it actually says, if you say he doesn't want to cut taxes, you will be arrested. He wants to cut your taxes. Even if you wanted to lie and say Obama wants to raise my taxes and it wasn't true, which he did try to raise them and did raise them. He, he did lie, of course. 
it's your free speech. You can be mistaken, whatever. You've got to prove civilly in court someone lied on purpose. That's common law. That's our free system. But here, oh, no, I just say you're lying. You're arrested. So this is the reign of terror with the IRS harassing the Tea Party, pro-lifers, gun groups, and then they didn't get in trouble, so they're right back at it again. And Holder running around telling the news media to brainwash the public against guns. So, so here's the ad that the guy running for Senate, who is a Democratic uh, member uh, of the Congress, he wants to be a senator now. This is what he doesn't want you to hear. So we're going to air it in its full entirety right now. My name is Julie Boonstra, and five years ago, I was diagnosed with leukemia. I found out that I only have a 20% chance of surviving. I found this wonderful doctor and a great health care plan. I was doing fairly well, fighting the cancer, fighting the leukemia. And then I received the letter. My insurance was canceled because of Obamacare. Now, the out-of-pocket costs are so high, it's unaffordable. If I do not receive my medication, I will die. I believed the president. I believed I could keep my health insurance plan. I feel lied to. It's heartbreaking for me. Congressman Peters, your decision to vote for Obamacare jeopardized my health. It is time to listen to me. It is time to listen to the other American citizens out there who are hurting. This is serious. It's not a game. Congressman Peters, Obamacare is not the answer. Well, how dare her say that she doesn't like a law? You have that ad removed. By the way, I saw a congressman get the show I was on with Jesse Ventura that I consulted on, the one about FEMA camps and threat fusion centers, three years ago. All of it's come out to be confirmed now. And they literally, he went on there and told Ventura, this never existed. I didn't bring forward this, this bill. And there are no camps. Then we show the camps and show his bill to expand them. So he called up and threatened True TV, threatened the uh, company that owned it, threatened all, and had the, the show pulled even off TiVo. It's supposed to air over and over again on cable. It airs about 50 times, coming a bunch of the other episodes too. It airs like 50 times a year. They air those shows over and over again. It was a hit show. Three seasons. This is the second season. They pull it. And then erase it off the DVRs and TiVos everywhere. That's how upset they were. So I know what it's like, folks. Those stations probably out of fear won't run it. Now, he did find the Truth Squad clip from seven years ago where they said, if you say he doesn't want to cut taxes, we'll arrest you. Well, he did raise them. So here it is. Senator Barack Obama's presidential campaign is asking Missouri law enforcement to target anyone who lies or runs a misleading television ad during the presidential campaign. This first, John Mills is live at the county election board in Maplewood. He's been learning more about which members of law, law enforcement are getting involved in this. John, tell us more about this. Russell, good evening. Prosecutors and sheriffs from across Missouri are joining something called the Barack Obama Truth Squad. Two high-profile prosecutors are part of the team. We met them this afternoon in the Central West End. They are Jennifer Joyce from On the TV, Bob threatening McCullough, people. This, this the is America. Dangerous County prosecuting attorney. They will be reminding voters that Barack Obama is a Christian who wants to cut taxes for anyone making less than $250,000 a year. Do. They also say they plan to respond immediately to any ads and statements that might All right, that's enough. I don't have time to play the whole newscast. If you want to see it, just type in Ob Obama True Squads. This is insane. And now Dinesh D'Souza is facing many years in jail for what is clearly legal and lawful contributions for his filmmaking. He's now being persecuted. They're arresting people. This is dangerous. But, hey, I want to give fair time to Obama. Here's the Obama theme song as we go out. Everything is awesome. Obama, the dream, the hope, the fraud of the fascist president with the Republican leadership helping him. Yay! Manufactured consent. Forward. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press.